Hi, welcome to another episode. Today we're going to discuss reels. How to disassemble, reassemble if need be. Over the years we've made variations of these reels and today we have a big variety in sizes, belt reels, gun reels and so forth. We're going to show you how to disassemble them, reassemble and how to mount them onto the gun. So when purchasing one of our gun reels, it comes with these components enabling you to fit to any gun including the Rob Allen guns. This is an animated drawing showing the reel being disassembled and reassembled. Note, both bushes are exactly the same and can be used on either side. Note these reels come in two sizes, there's a 40 meter and a 60 meter. To install the reel on one of our guns, you will see the handle has a built-in dovetail where the reel will slide into. To lock the spool in position, remove the spool and drill out the hole shown. For this hole, use a 3mm drill bit. For this hole, use the countersunk screw. Make sure it's below the level of the reel bracket. To fit a reel to any other gun, you can use these red dovetail brackets and fit with the screws supplied. When fitting to other guns, be careful not to drill ahead of the sealed bung in the barrel tube. Supplied with the pack are two muzzle eyes. Fit whichever works best on your gun. On our muzzles, the shackle type muzzle eye is set at an angle. The reason for this is to stop line being damaged if and when the gun lies on the deck of a boat, purposely angled forwards. You can clearly see when the line is in position, it drops close to the muzzle and is protected if rubbed up and down on a rough deck or on the rocks when you're exiting a shore dive, protects your line along the side.
This angle protects the line by allowing it to lie closer to the gun and away from the edge of the bracket. Well, there you have it. I hope that helped and you enjoyed the video.